Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you how I make this yeasted scallion thing or Chinese flatbread and basically these are like similar to pancakes except that they're yeasted and they're like these beautiful layers of scallions and sesames in between and if you bite through it, it's like crispy on the outside and like chewy fluffy on the inside um, so this is really so good and so satisfying and I'm going to start off first with a yeast mixture and we're going to add in some sugar and some yeast give that a good mix and then we're going to pour in some warm water and just mix that up and we're going to leave this to foam up for maybe 5 minutes and add in some oil which I forgot to do <laughs> for this video. Um, so once it foams up, add in the oil and prepare the flour. So we have your all-purpose flour and some salt and give that a good mix and add in the flour, mi uh, the yeast mixture and continue to combine and we're going to basically just shape this into a dough so we knead it together. And you can basically use like a stand mixer here if you want. And this is the oil that I forgot to put. So I did add in some sesame oil because I love the fragrance. And just pour that in. And we're going to just mix this and continue to knead it until we have a ball of dough. So it's going to firm up from the gluten bonds. And we're just going to keep kneading until the dough no longer sticks to your hands. And we're going to place it back into the bowl. So once you're happy, place it back into the bowl. And we're going to basically just cover this and leave it to rise in a warm place for at least an hour. And if you want to prepare this in advance, I have some tips in my blog post. Um, for now, we're going to be making the rest of the ingredients. So just prepare the spice mix, the sesame seeds, and of course, um, the scallions. So the scallions, we're basically just going to chop up into small, tiny pieces. And just keep chopping that up until you're happy with the size and everything. And we're going to end up with around 3 fourths cup of chopped scallions. So for me, the more the merrier. And we're going to have here some white pepper, salt, and some five spice. And we're just going to mix the spice mix together. So we're going to sprinkle this on later and you want it well combined. And for the toasted sesame seeds, we have here around one fourth, one half cup, depending on how much you'd like. And more flour for dusting later on. So back to the dough. Um, basically, it's going to have risen already. And we're going to flour the surface here and add the ball of dough on top. And we're going to basically flour our rolling pin a bit and we're just going to roll out the dough and into like a large sheet that's around 14 by 9 inches. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect of course, just keep rolling until it's thin. And basically we're going to have this like rectangular oval-ish piece of dough and we're going to like lightly brush a thin layer of oil on top. And we're going to just like sprinkle on the spice mix. So you can just kind of like try to evenly sprinkle this. But don't worry if it's not evenly sprinkled. Because you can kind of lightly pat it and lightly just spread it with your hands. And we're going to add in the sesame seeds. You can add more if you like. And of course the scallions. And we're going to roll it out kind of like how you do with a cinnamon roll. From one end to the other. And apologies in advance because you're going to be seeing a lot of my head in the rest of this video from the top shot. So we're going to seal the edges and just kind of pinch it together just to kind of seal it and lightly pat on it as well. And we have here like a long log. We're going to divide it in two. So we're going to have like two smaller logs of dough. And I kind of just stretched it out a bit here. And we're going to roll it in kind of like a snail. And we're going to tuck the end at the bottom and just kind of like lightly press on it and repeat the other piece and we're gonna roll it up as well and tuck it in at the bottom so we have here two balls of dough and we're gonna like roll these out so i had here a chopping board and i brushed a thin layer of oil or some flour if you like and we're gonna just place it on top and basically you're gonna just roll it out into like a pancake or like a round disc shape that's around eight inches in diameter and basically after this we're gonna go and add some sesame seeds so I do like adding a lot because I love the crunch, but you can add less or more depending on you. And basically you have to pat it down to just kind of get the sesame seeds to stick to the dough and prevent it from falling. And I repeated it for the other side and did it as well, just patted it on it. And yep, that's the first thing. And we're going to cover it with a towel and leave it to rest in a warm spot for around 15 minutes for cooking. So it's going to continue to rise a bit from the yeast. Meanwhile, we're going to repeat the other ping and basically just like roll out the dough as well. So it's just the same process, just roll it out and you're going to see more scallions. Sometimes you're going to feel like air like bubbles popping when you roll it. It's totally normal because of all the layers. And yep, that's it. So we're going to have like two bings that we're going to cook. And we're going to heat up a large cast iron pan 
So you can use like a non-stick pan with no oil if you like, but I love adding a bit of oil because it gets it crispier. I'm going to cook it on medium-high heat for around 4 to 5 minutes until golden brown and crisp on one side. So we're just going to leave that to cook. And basically, once you're happy with like the under, if it's like good and golden brown, you flip it over and cook the other side again. And we're going to cover the pan here to help cook the inside. It's going to be a thick like thing and it's going to fluff up more from the yeast. So we're just going to go and check up on that. And if it's a good golden brown as well and you're happy with it, we're going to go ahead and transfer this onto a chopping board. And we'll leave it to cool for a few minutes um, before we cut it up. So I'm just going to basically slice this. And I did slice mine in four, but you can slice it any way you want. And if you see like the beautiful layers of the scallions and sesame here, like it's really so good. Like I'm honestly not exaggerating. This is really so good and super satisfying, especially if you, if you love the combo of like scallion and sesame. So there you have it. So this is the scallion thing. And you can find the recipe linked in my blog down below. And if you're looking for more recipes, you can check out my ebook. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and you will find more of my recipes over on my website thefoodytakesflight.com i will see you guys in my next video and yeah thank you so much for watching and have a good day